So guys, today I want to go over some tips to help you stay safe around your horses. So let's get right into it. Now guys, I just want to quickly say that these tips are not for a wild horse. If you have a horse that is completely crazy, do not go out there and try to stay safe around him. You need to get that horse trained. You need to watch some of my other videos. You need to go through them. You need to teach your horse all the basic things. You need to work with him more to make him safe so that you can be safe around him. If you think about horses, they're very strong, big, heavy, they're fast. That's why it's very important that you take them seriously and that you stay safe while you're around them. You never want to put yourself in danger with an animal like this because you never really know what they're gonna do. It's very easy to get yourself hurt. Pretty much everything has happened to me when it comes to horses because I've interacted with so many of them and a lot of times in bad ways. I've been ran over, broken bones, bucked off horses, thrown off horses, slammed into trees, fences, gate, torn skin, ripped jeans. Thankfully though, I've learned a lot since some of those things and I wanna share that with you so that you stay safe. Make sure you're paying attention to your horse because horses don't usually just react. They typically show you some signs that they're gonna do that first. So one thing I wanna talk about is the horse's ears. When a horse is relaxed or happy, their ears will be forward or to the side or a little bit back. But when they're really upset and they're about to do something dangerous, they almost always pin their ears all the way back. That is a sign that he is about to do something like bite, kick. It's a very aggressive sign, so you want to be watching for that when you're around a horse. But if he actually flattens both ears on his head, he's about to do something serious, so you better pay attention. So let me show you about being safe around your horse's front feet. If I draw a line here in front of the horse's foot, and I draw a line right here, we just created a 90 degree angle. If we draw a line down the middle, that's at 45 degrees. Now, why is this important? Well, your horse cannot kick you if you're on this line. So guys, if you're grooming your horse, you can actually groom a lot of your horse from this 45 degree angle. I can just put my hand on his back, right, all the way back here. And even if he wants to kick me, he can't. Now, this is the safest place to be because your horse can't strike you in the front and he can't kick you with his back leg. You're too far away from both of those things. So here's danger, here's danger, but right here in the middle, you're actually safe. Now if your horse turns away from you or if your horse turns towards you, there's a big problem there because now you've moved out of that place. So you wanna always try when you're around your horse, okay, stay in this safe spot around your horse's front feet. How to stay safe around the back of your horse, okay? Your horse's back legs are extremely strong and obviously everybody's scared of getting kicked. So if your horse is at all dangerous or has a habit of kicking, make sure you stay a far distance away from those hind legs. Never walk close around them, walk very far away. So I want you to walk a huge circle around those back legs. But if your horse is very tame and you are confident around your horse, put your hand on the top of your horse's back and walk around him very close, okay? Just like this. Putting your hand on the top of the horse's back just lets him know that you're there and helps him keep track of where you're going. One thing you definitely don't wanna do is stand about this far away, because if your horse kicks you, he's gonna get you right on the end of that kick. You wanna either be right up here if your horse is safe, or way over here if your horse is dangerous, okay? Getting kicked by your horse is one of the worst things that can happen, but getting bitten is almost just as bad. It hurts like crazy, it takes forever to get better. You'll probably be scared to get around your horse if your horse bites you. Many times, when you're saddling him up, he'll bring his nose round, and he'll go ahead and bite your back. When he brings his head round, you can put your elbow out, just like that. So guys, keep in mind how heavy and powerful your horse's head is. Just be careful when you're walking around your horse, when you're messing with your horse, grooming him. He can swing his head very quickly, and so anytime that you're around him or you change sides, make sure that you're conscious about where his head is, and if he swings his head towards you quickly, you can put your palm up to block it so that way you don't get hit by his head. So guys, horses can lift up their heads like that. So it's very important that you don't put your head above your horse's head like I just did right now. Try not to be in a position where your head is way, way above his like this. And you're asking for trouble because he can lift it up and knock you out, okay? When you're leading your horse, make sure that you keep a good distance from him. Keep him away from you, don't let him run you over. That's gonna keep you safe. So now guys, I wanna go over some sensitive areas on your horse where if you touch these areas and you mess with them, you have to be extra careful because your horse is more likely to kick. First area is right here in the flank. This is a very sensitive area for a lot of horses, okay? If you touch them here, they'll usually flinch and a lot of times they'll go ahead and kick with their back leg. So be very careful if you're gonna touch your horse around here. Another area that's very sensitive is 
the tail, okay? If you're gonna grab your horse's tail, braid it, mess with it, wash it, just be very careful working around your horse's tail because a lot of horses are very scared of that. Another sensitive area is when you're doing up the cinch right up here. When you're tightening the saddle down on your horse, a lot of times horses get very sensitive because you're grabbing their chest, okay? That's a time that they'll potentially bite you in the back. It's very tempting when you're changing sides with your horse to swing under his neck and go to the other side. It's much safer to walk around your horse, the front of his nose, just like this. If you've seen the thumbnail, you already know that I went underneath my horse for the thumbnail, but he's extremely safe, okay? But most of the time, you never want to actually go through the, underneath the horse's legs. As fun and tempting as it might be, you need to work with your horse and make sure he's safe before you do that, okay? So guys, I hope that you learned some things today and that that was helpful and that throughout all the things you do with your horse, you're able to stay safe and have a great time. See you guys in the next video. You got a pine cone in your ear. Let's go chase the bunny. <laughs>